What's up everybody? Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a little bubble blip noise in Serum. The homie Jordan asked me if I could make a little tutorial on this. Um, it's a noise I've used in a bunch of tracks and it's a really simple basic noise to make so I thought I could bust out the tutorial pretty easy. So let's get started. So here's just the blank um, Serum initial preset. Sounds like that. So we're going to need a sine wave to start. So I go to analog, basic shapes. There's a sine wave. So now we are going to make the amp envelope and make it have some decay. Probably like that. Yeah, right about there is good. And we're going to take the LFO and put it on the coarse pitch of our oscillator here. Okay, and we're going to make it kind of like that, but we're going to put it on trigger mode. So every time we hit a note, it's going to restart the LFO. We might even want to go the other way. And we're going to turn the LFO speed up. You can get all sorts of different kind of articulations by playing with your envelope and That's a pretty good little bubble, especially when it's like in the mids, low mids. Something I almost always do when I make one of these noises is I will put a stereo delay on it. And we could set that to like 8, set the dry wet to 50, set it to 16 maybe. Just get some cool little space noises, you know, um, and you can just, just mess around. Kind of just find what works for you. You could reverse it. different stuff out of um, this sort of patch um, it's definitely super like classic synth noise um, you kind of have to find the right tone really in the mids there in the right speed but you can get all sorts of stuff out of it um, it's all about just experimenting kind of trying different sizes. But yeah, in Ableton you could use ping pong delay to get that sort of delay. Um, and if you don't have Serum yet, you should probably get it because it's awesome and I'm pretty sure you can rent to own on Spice for like five bucks a month or something. It's a great plugin. I recommend it and I think that's it for this tutorial. Super basic noise, but I hope this helps some of you, and it's, uh, it's a cool little accent to throw on your tracks. Alright, thanks for watching.